Hey everyone, another bonus Creole Parametric self-isolation video. In a previous video, I showed you that wacky feature, the radius dome that I do not understand. Again, to be able to use this particular feature, you're going to have to have a config.pro option turned on. If you go to File Options Configuration Editor, there's an option called Allow Anatomic Features. If you have that set to yes, then you'll be able to use some really old school commands that PTC has hidden from the interface. And again, in another video, I showed the radius dome and how I don't understand it at all. Let's take a look at one that makes a little, well, I don't know. I don't know more since this is the correct word, but let's take a look at creating a local push. I will click on the local push command and now it's prompting us to select a sketching plane. I'm gonna turn on my datum plane visibility. Let's select the datum plane called Actually, no, I think I want to sketch on this surface over here. And then for orientation, for people who use Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier, this is the way that you had to set up a sketch. You would choose one side of the computer screen, top, bottom, right, or left, and then some entity to face that side of the screen. And so I'm just gonna have face the right of the screen. I can pick the date and plane right. By the way, another thing that'll bring back memories for really old users, I mean, not that you're old or anything, but you've been using Pro Engineer, uh, you know, 20 years ago, make datum. Remember that command? So anyhow, I'm gonna choose the datum plane called right to face the right side of the computer screen. Let's turn off the datum plane display. And for the shape of my local push, I'm just gonna use a circle. You can use whatever shape that you want. Uh, let's drag it out. I'm gonna make it, make it about a value of five. I think this has a diameter of 10. And then I hit the check mark and then it's prompted me to select the surface to be affected by the local push. I'll pick this surface over here. Hey, look at that. We have a dimple on the surface. That is the local push command. Let's take a look at playing around with some of the dimensions. I'll select the feature and then hit the edit dimensions command. And first off, there's another dimension in here. There's a point whatever, 63, for the height of this. So maybe I want this to be bigger. So I choose a value of two. Hey, let me deselect everything. Regenerate. And so there we have, you know, a bigger value. Now let's take a look at changing dimensions again. You can have this dimension be bigger than the surface that it is actually pushing out. Let me try a value of 12 over here. Let's see if that works. And again, normally you're supposed to just be able to click on the back on the screen and it regenerates. I was having some trouble there with that. So there we have, you know, bigger diameter of the sketch, and then we have it pushed out to a certain height. And just to show you again, you can also have this have a negative value. So let's change this to negative two, and now it is going into the part. I'm having trouble just deselecting everything. Let's just hit the regenerate button. So again, that is the local push. Let me go to the analysis tab and choose mesh surface so that you can see it a little better on here. So again, hey, that is the local push. Oh, I just want to mention that also. Uh, you have starting in what Creo Parametric 4.0, I think it was, you have the ability to have commands on this common tab over here so that they'll be available in all different modes. And that's where I throw in my anatomic features plus some of the different obsoleted features. And in another video, I'm actually going to show you the general blend command. But again, that is the local push. What is this good for? I have no idea. Anyhow, thanks a lot for watching this bonus video. Stay home, stay healthy, stay safe. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot.